a nine-year-old boy helped save his mom's life by refusing to listen to her. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Kimberly Smith has her hands full as a single mom of three, so when she woke up one morning feeling unwell, she knew that being sick wasn't an option. But as she plowed on through her day, the symptoms grew worse. And when her son came home from school, all she wanted was for him to do as he was told so that she could take a break. But this time, he refused to listen. It was on March 2, 2017 that Kimberly woke up with a pain in her chest. Breathing was difficult and her limbs felt weighed down too. She thought the symptoms may be related to a recent bout of pneumonia, but with a newborn son to care for, stopping for a rest was pretty much out of the question. On top of the recent pneumonia, Kimberly had given birth to baby Dylan via cesarean section just a few weeks before. So, convinced her symptoms were a combination of the illness, C-section, and the exhaustion of caring for a newborn, the 32-year-old waited for her two older sons to come home from school so she could take a break. Any mom would appreciate an extra pair of hands, and Kimberly's lucky that her older sons know it. Nine-year-old Camden in particular has proven himself helpful in the newborn. He helps his mom by making up bottles at feeding time, for instance, and he even changes diapers. But it's not only his baby brother that Camden watches over, he has his mom's back too. So when he came home from school in Cedro Woolley, Washington that day, he knew something was wrong. After all, his mom's symptoms seemed to have gotten worse. Indeed, Kimberly started clutching her chest and felt a sharp stabbing pain with every breath she took. Yet although Camden was deeply concerned about her, she insisted that all she needed was a nap. So he took the baby while she prepared to sleep it off. But the nine-year-old wasn't entirely convinced. Seeing the pain his mom was in, he was sure that she needed medical help. He told local television channel King 5, I told her she needed to go to the hospital, but she kept saying she just wanted to stay here. Camden, however, was having none of it. And it wasn't like him to be so belligerent. He's an ordinary young boy who likes to quietly play video games with his 12-year-old brother Bryson. Yet when his mom refused to get help, he took drastic action instead of respecting her wishes. Choosing his own instincts, Camden defined his mom and told her to get in the car and drive. As he subsequently explained to King 5, I kept saying that we needed to go, so I just went and got my shoes and coat on and told her we needed to go. It became obvious to Kimberly that Camden wasn't going to give up the fight easily. Touched by how much she cared, Kimberly called the doctor to arrange an appointment, sure that it was just pneumonia. But when she described the symptoms, her doctor quickly requested an ambulance. Kimberly was then rushed to Skagit Valley Hospital with Camden by her side in the ambulance. Subsequent examinations showed the nine-year-old had every reason to be worried. His mom was diagnosed with bilateral pulmonary embolisms, or in other words, blood clots on her lungs. When the doctors ran tests, they discovered the young mom had a genetic predisposition. Her cesarean section to give birth to Dylan, however, had heightened the risk. Putting it bluntly, her doctor revealed that if she had tried to sleep it off as she planned, she might never have woken up again. Kimberly consequently spent seven days in hospital so doctors could monitor her condition. Then, when she was healthy enough, they allowed her to go home for the remainder of her recovery. Needless to say, mom certainly is grateful for her son's defiance on this occasion. As Kimberly explained to Faithit.com in April 2017, I thought, you know what, I should probably listen to him because he's not normally so persistent. But what was it that made Camden insist that his mom go to the hospital? How did he know there might be something seriously wrong? As it happened, one of Camden's teachers actually had a similar experience. Timothy Fitzpatrick, his physical education teacher at Evergreen Elementary, had once experienced an embolism. And in telling her class about what had happened, she described to her pupils the symptoms to look out for. Timothy told King 5, It's sometimes questionable whether they're paying attention, but something stuck with him pretty well. In fact, paramedics were impressed by how calmly Camden handled what was no doubt a scary situation and noted how attentive he was toward his mom. Even so, it doesn't explain why Camden became quite so defiant when his mom of pharmacy tech said all she needed was some rest. He said he wasn't sure either, but as tears rolled down his face, it became obvious. Yes, it was simply how much he cares for her and that he didn't want to see her in pain. Kimberly's all too aware the story could have had a very different ending. She told King 5, If I'd taken a nap, there's a good chance it would have been a very different outcome, a sad one. As it is, the mom of three is six months away from being back to full health. I never thought I'd be here, Kimberly wrote on her GoFundMe page. It was the single most scariest thing I've gone through. The thought of not being with my children is heart-wrenching. Speaking of her son's defiance that day, Kimberly told King 5, He's definitely my hero. 
They say your life flashes before your eyes and it's true. It makes you look at your kids a whole different way. She further explained, I'm still getting teary-eyed about it. It warms my heart to know my children care for me so much.